I know you're a white person in America, so I could see why you'd think this, but telling other people how to live is actually not a right you have. In fact, if you want to live in a country in which the religious beliefs of the majority dictates the lives and liberties of everybody else, I recommend you try Saudi Arabia, Pakistan. So by far and away, one of the more dangerous things about the Republican Party is the fact that all the extreme right-wing elements are concentrating themselves specifically within the GOP. You see, on the Democratic side, there's a lot more diversity within the party, uh, diversity among ethnicities and diversity among you know, policy positions. You know, there's a lot of centrist, uh, you know, establishment corporate Democrats within the party. There's a lot of uh, conservative liberals within the party. And then you have your more uh, left leaning progressives all the way further, further left, uh, you know, as far as you can go. But again, as you can see, there's a lot more diversity. However, within the Republican Party, it's pretty much all white. Um, and again, more and more of the extreme elements, whether that be, you know, uh, extreme elements on race, extreme elements on economic policies, extreme elements on who's leading the party uh, and how they go about conducting their business. They're all concentrating specifically within the Republican Party. Somewhere like that. But this country belongs to us now. You are not getting it back. And you can believe that. But I mean, at the end of the day, the religious elements are nothing new in the Republican Party, even the Democratic Party, for that matter. I mean, we're just now starting to see people who are, you know, open atheists or, you know, who maybe have more existential beliefs on God and the universe and just the old you know, Christian upbringing. You know, even Biden still touts his Catholic upbringing. So even on the left, you still see a lot of that kind of traditional Catholicism or traditional Presbyterian uh, backgrounds. We just covered a few weeks ago, you know, a woman running in uh, the Georgia gubernatorial race whose campaign slogan is God, guns and babies. We see red state by red state taking away women's access to abortion because, the you know, their fundamental underlying, at least what they tout, is that it's about, you know, their godly views, their religious views, their Christian views. And so, again, these types of elements, they've been in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. However, the extreme elements are just coalescing on the right, and they're going to continue to do so because there's nowhere else for them to go. And unfortunately, what we all have to keep in mind as well is that one of the bigger reasons that these extreme elements, not only in policy, but also just in culture and just the, the, the loud bullhorn advertisement promotion that they always do, the reason that's going to continue to get louder as well is because other than that, what are they talking about? They're not talking about doing anything to help people economically. They're not talking about restructuring our education system or our healthcare system. They're not talking about doing anything about our infrastructure. They're not talking about bringing us into the future at all. They're talking about more authoritarian measures, and they're only going to double down, triple down, quadruple down on Jesus this, Jesus that. Because again, unless they do that, they have to come forward and be like, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take away your access to this, take away your access to that, which, of course, we know they won't do and can't do because even their crazy base won't stand for that if it's too much in the open. So this is just what the Republican Party is, and it's not going to change anytime soon.